been just over a week since the big news of a merger agreement between Deutsche Börse and NYSE Euronext, and the ripples are certainly still being felt uh, throughout Wall Street and in Europe and Canada and Asia. Uh, so exchange consolidation has been the talk of the towns, if you will. Hi, my name is Greg Crawford. I'm the editor of Tab Forum, joined today by Cheyenne Morgan, a, a Tab Group analyst. Cheyenne, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. So we are looking at the all this exchange activity, LSC, TMX, uh, Singapore and Australia, and, and obviously the, the two biggies, uh, NYSE, Euronext, and Deutsche Borsa. And Tab Group, Cheyenne and some of her colleagues, we did a poll of, of Tab Group clients to get their take on this. So we're gonna be spending a little bit of time on that. And so Cheyenne, we polled, I guess, just about 125 clients or so on this subject. That's correct. We polled um, 122 participants for our fourth uh, industry barometer. Okay. Um, and we asked a series of questions around the recent M&A activity um, with regards to exchanges, and we had uh, some pretty interesting responses. Okay. So if we start out with kind of the drivers, I mean, that was probably one of the things that, that we asked, and it was one of the things that we asked. So what do folks think are really behind all this activity? Right. So one of the questions we asked our participants was, what are the, uh, what are the happen what's happened in the market right. that's driven all this recent, you know, flurry of M&A activity? Mm -hmm. And the, the resounding number of participants think that it's weakened equity volumes right. in addition to increased competition among the exchanges. Okay. So within the past few years, we've had just a burst of number uh, in the number of venues that have popped up in U.S. as well as Europe mm -hmm. and Asia. And so that increase in competition has kind of forced people to, you know, merge and figure out, you know, how can I get more liquidity into my venue? Right. Um, and in also weaken volumes. You know, in the U.S. since 2008, um, since the mid-2008, the volumes have dropped around like 11, 10, 11 percent okay. in the U.S. So all that dried up liquidity, increased competition, people are realizing that they have to merge in order to survive. Right. So you've got, so you've got the lower volumes, you've got the increased competition as right. these exchanges, and now more public exchanges looking for new revenue streams, exactly. all that happening. So, so now we've got this you know, this dynamic taking place in the marketplace. So what does this mean for, for the industry, the folks who, who are clients of these exchanges, these trading venues? What are, what's the impact for them? Right, well, so we asked also our participants, what's the impact on the industry? And uh, most of the participants felt that the beneficiaries of this would be market makers, hedge funds, uh, prop shops, those guys would benefit. Okay. Because if you think about it, with all these synergies uh, from the M&A, you'll have reduced costs. Right. And who does that trickle down to? The, uh, the market makers, mm -hmm. the hedge funds, the, pr the prop guys. These guys are going to uh, benefit from less fees because, you know, uh, obviously it's going to be less cost for the exchange. And right. so they'll be able to, you know, provide lower costs to the market makers and the prop funds and the hedge funds. And so once those fees are lower, those guys will benefit. Now, on the flip side, our participants actually feel that dark pools will be the least <laughs> beneficiaries within this whole M&A activity. And why is that? I think that's mostly because, well, it could be for a few reasons. First, um, it could be with the mergers of all these exchanges, all the liquidity will start to flow back to the lip pools. Right. And maybe that'll provide some, you know, competition for the dark pools. Okay. Um, on the other hand, it actually could have no impact I between lit versus dark. So that'll yet to that's yet to be determined. Right, right. Yeah. Cuz I know we've seen we uh, we've seen exchange mergers in the past and that idea of combining liquidity pools. Yeah. Sometimes there are issues around that. It's not as easy as it sounds. So that's a good point that that people raise. So That's that's actually a great point. I mean, we talk about all the synergies in terms of a shared IT platform. Right. Um, they, they can also combine businesses in terms of asset classes, you know, combine their options and equities businesses. Yep. Um, but there's a lot of operational hurdles to that in yeah. terms of technology. Um, you have a totally different system in Europe than the U.S., totally different everything. Right. So it, uh, there's a lot of operational Regulation, hurdles. Regulation, you name it. In addition to regulatory hurdles. Okay. So definitely. Okay. So finally, Shan, $64,000 question. Uh, have we seen the end of the exchange uh, M&A activity flurry, or do we expect more? Do, or do people who responded to our poll expect to see more of this stuff going on? Well, I think we expect to see more. I mean, there are definitely some potential uh, candidates for mergers. Right. But keeping an eye on these two big mergers, 
talking about NYX and Deutsche Börse and TMX and the LSE. Right. Um, it was actually interesting because we asked our participants um, how likely these mergers are to succeed. So for the LSE TMX, people were actually pretty uh, pretty confident that it would succeed. 78% said that it would. Okay. On the other hand, the NYX Deutsche Börse, only 68% said that it would 66% said that it was like most likely to succeed. Oh, is that right? So that's actually interesting. And I think that has more to do with the fact that it's such a huge yeah. merger right. that the uh, they both need regulatory approval from both sides of the pond. Right. It's not just a US or a Europe thing. And it's a huge deal. Right. The TMX LSE is kind of a slightly smaller deal, mm -hmm. although it has hit some regulatory hurdles as well, exactly. um, especially in Canada. But I guess we'll just keep watching and yeah, waiting. Yeah, very good. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, results from the latest industry barometer by Tab Group on Exchange M&A. So keep your eyes peeled to Tab Forum. We'll continue to chronicle these developments as they take place. So thank you for joining us. Again, my name is Greg Crawford. I'm the editor of Tab Forum, and I'm joined by Cheyenne Morgan, a Tab Group analyst. Thanks.